Oh. Yeah, so where are we going today, Tarn, yeah? <laughs> we are going to the Tulip Festival in our village, didn't we? Oh, Tulip Festival, what's all that about then? Well, the village is famous for its tulips, um, which grow in the fields outside of the village, and it's all about that, although the tulips are finished this year, so it's just a big party, really. Yeah, it's the biggest party in the village of the year, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's the day after Pascha, so everybody, well, we're very, very tired, but we can't not go, can we? This no, we've got to go. It's the we've biggest day. Go. It's the biggest day of the year in the village. So traditionally, this is a day when people celebrate. It's kind of the beginning of the warmer weather. And it's, it's lovely today. And it is nice today, yeah, of course. It's 25 degrees or something. <laughs> Um, but, yeah, so our little village, which has got about 700 people in it, normally turns into a huge party. It was 2,000 roughly last year. Last year was 2,000. Oh, yeah. I don't know how many people are here this year, but we're going to walk around the corner. And have a look. Now, of oh, course, we've got music. So lucky. Here, let's go and have a look. Whoa. How are we going to get through? So we've got 700 people living in uh, Didyma normally. So let's see how many people we've got here. Yeah, so we only got three full of more. Yeah, I think there's more than. Uh, yeah, how are we going to get through? Ah, go on then. Get up going around there. Okay. Just do a slow pan round so you can see what it's like. Everybody in the souvlaki. More tables coming in. Yeah, they're pulling every table that they've got around. Look. Exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Hello, there Hello. you are. More dancing. Traditionally, the kids first, and then when the band starts playing, then you have everybody dancing in the middle. So I'll come back later when we're doing more, uh, more music and more dancing, I think. Good. It's okay, you look great. Okay, makeup art is finished. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, tradition is that you eat um, chicken souvlaki. Chicken souvlaki or pork? Pork, pork. Sorry, I got all that all wrong, didn't I? Pork souvlaki. And uh, here we've got uh, my friend Taki and uh, Jojo. Yeah, cooking, cooking uh, pork kebab, basically. Uh, Taki, how many, how many today will you make? About uh, 1,500. 1,500. Yeah. 1,500 pork skewers on the barbecue. Pork. Because it's a little meat package. I guess you get some meat. No. Extra blanket. What blanket? Ah, no, 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 no. I know. I know the ones. Yeah. So it's a big barbecue again. Anyway, right. I think the music's going to start. Let's go and look over there. Yeah, so I realised that when um, when I've come to edit this that I didn't actually do any voiceover on all of these bits because the music's so incredibly loud, okay? 
and the first dancing here is with the just the PA through the sound system but you'll see in a little while when the band starts playing then the band is incredibly loud it's very good but it's incredibly loud and then everybody's like dancing and yeah it really kind of uh, sets the scene for probably the next eight hours or something you know it's, it's crazy but anyway Greek dancing yeah basically walking around in a circle anti-clockwise and the guy at the front leads the way um, and does things like this like yeah um, I've tried Greek dancing uh, I'm terrible at it to be fair and I did ask uh, a couple of Greek friends to show me how to Greek dance and they just laughed and says no you're not ever going to be able to because you've got two not two left feet, but I think uh, two left hands for feet, I'm not sure. So yeah, so anyway, dancing around in a circle, this is uh, organised dancing, as you can see, this is sort of some choreography here, there's some organisation behind this of who's doing what, all the traditional outfits and everything. Um, I still don't completely understand what's going on here because nobody's actually really, um, but I haven't really asked anybody to explain it but it's a lot of Greek dancing. Um, but it's quite cool really, we, we don't do this in England anymore. So to see it on uh, such a scale and so regularly as well in Greece, you know, this is like there's three or four events a year just in Didyma where people dance in the town centre, in the village centre. But you can see here how many people um, ah, right, and here's the band starting, okay? And these guys are incredible musicians. If anybody in England is thinking that they're a rock and roll musician, then try and have this gig because it lasts for kind of eight hours. And they do sort of cycle it around. They take half an hour here or half an hour there and change it. Um, somebody else takes the lead and somebody else sings and then different different artists do come on but the back line of the band the guitarist the drummer and the keys player are playing for hours hours like I think more than eight hours on this day so anyway here you can see tables full of people don't bother trying to count the cans of Amstel that will just um, take you for a year I think to do that uh, because uh, it seems to be the right colour can, red being the tulip colour, kind of, um, yeah, made it a very popular beverage on this day. Um, here you can see kind of the footwork going on. Everybody knows how to dance like this, apart from me, I think, apart from me. I don't, I can't, I can't get it right. Um, it doesn't look difficult, but for me it just doesn't really make a lot of sense as when you do the sort of foot slapping and the jumping in the air business that you don't see many people doing here actually but but you know some of the lead guys do do it from what I can make out lots and lots of people just sitting around drinking eating with their families extended families some tables with 20 or 30 people on them you know it's it is a big event. Here's a side shot of the band into the keyboard player here, uh, a clarino player, which is somewhat different to a clarinet, I think. It sounds completely different to me anyway, but it looks like a clarinet. And uh, then we have the three front guys here, or the, the two front guys and the front lady, all dressed very smart. And what you don't get yet in the day, but you don't get at the moment, where they throw trays full of flowers, trays full of flowers at the front men in the band and you can buy them and they're really expensive but in a minute I think we see a, we might see a, a lady going around selling the flowers but they do just get trays full of flowers and the tray and everything goes on the head of the person singing and I, I, I guess it's a, a show of admiration I guess if you shower somebody in flowers yeah so here we're looking at it from the other side other side of the village square and uh, you can see it's extensive I don't know maybe 3,000 people or so 
uh, descended on Didymus for Tulip Festival. Um, and I took the camera home at about four in the afternoon or five in the afternoon. Here you can see the lady selling the flowers, the trays of flowers, okay? And you, you buy those and you throw them at the lead singer. Uh, and here you can see like huge tables full of people with their friends and family. And it's, it's just a really cool thing to do for a village to get together like this and do this, I guess. Anyway, cool. That's about it. Like, share, subscribe, email me going uh, at uh, Living Greece. Not going no man, that's the other channel. Uh, email me at Living Greece. It's in the description below anyway, you'll find it there. And uh, yeah, patrons, hello patrons, thank you very much for that. And be good out there, you.